episode 9 is set to be a film by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio that will insert a lot of Jedi in Sith lore for some of the characters like Rey and Kylo Ren to move forward in this story. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing that a lot of people, including myself, am really looking forward to seeing in this movie is, of course, the Jedi and Sith lore that J.J. Abrams will be exploring in episode 9 and expanding the whole entire concept of, of course, the new generation of Jedi, as well as the ancient Jedi in Episode 9. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. One of which has all to do with Jedi Master Luke Skywalker, the first Jedi, and Rey herself. Specifically, a description of Rey inside of the Lost City in one of the ancient Jedi temples and runes, and location of the statue of the first Jedi. It's described that Rey is standing in front of the statue and reading a book. It's described that C-3PO has helped her learn the language for the past year from Luke's books. It's described that in the book, the first Jedi's name is described as Ramagan. R-A-M-M-A-H-G-A-N. It's said that one of the books that Luke discovered in the tree library on Ahch-2 was named after the first Jedi. The last goes over Rey walking around reading the book with R2-D2, scrolling around with a flashlight where Rey comes across ancient writings on the walls. It's described the Lost City has many inspirational pieces from Egyptian stories. So I want to go over a couple of parts about this that are getting me very interested in this movie, especially when it comes to Jedi lore and the first Jedi, as well as the Lost City. Now, in case you guys aren't filled in, The Lost City was an original idea for The Force Awakens that did not make it to the final cut of the movie. It was basically this underworld of, of course, ancient Jedi lore and basically also Sith lore as well. Now, what's really intriguing to me is, of course, the first Jedi. We've been hearing about him on and off these past couple of weeks or so, and apparently now his name is Ramagan. Now, this is actually one of the names of the books that Jedi Master Luke Skywalker once owned on Octu inside of that tree library. It turns out that that actual book inside of the tree library, at least one of them, was named after the first Jedi himself. So you can really see that JJ is not only trying to really go into Jedi lore in depth, but he's also trying to expand what we saw by Ryan Johnson in The Last Jedi. That was the one problem I had about The Last Jedi is that we got a little tiny taste of ancient Jedi lore. We got the books and that was it. You know, if you guys actually see some of the deleted scenes, Luke Skywalker actually dives into the ancient scriptures a little bit more, you know, saying, you know, how a Jedi, you know, what a, what a true Jedi Knight would do right now is do nothing, even if people get hurt. That's what Luke Skywalker actually said from what he read from one of the books. So you can really see, you know, what stuff was left out of episode eight that would have really given more in-depth ex explanations of the first Jedi and of course, those Jedi books stored within the tree library. So the first Jedi's name being Ramagan, like I say, it is spelt R-A-M-M-A, H-G-A-N. I'm not quite sure if the G is, in, is silent in that. After all, this is Star Wars, so we'll have to wait and see. But what I find very intriguing about Rey is how she's learned this language of the ancient Jedi in literally just one year. In case you guys did not know, the whole entire movie itself is going to take place roughly one year after the events of The Last Jedi. And if you guys read the Poe Dameron comics, there are also hints in there that C-3PO is teaching Rey the language of the first Jedi from the ancient Jedi books. Even C-3PO himself isn't able to fully translate it. That's how ancient they really are. So when we look at episode 9, you can really see that JJ really wants to dive more and go more in depth into the whole aspect of the Jedi and of course the ancient Jedi lore as well in order to give us a better idea of exactly how the Jedi started and how the Jedi originated in the Star Wars franchise. So I gotta say with JJ, you know, exploring that side of Star Wars, things are really starting to sound very interesting for this movie. I'm sure that we're gonna learn more about it in the film when we actually get to go ahead and see this come December of 2019, where we actually do get to learn more about the first Jedi and the first Sith. 
Now, this lost city, by the way, it's not just dedicated to the Jedi. It's also related to the Sith. And there's also a first Sith being explained in this movie. You guys may have heard about this a couple of days ago. Not quite sure if you did. But there are statues in there of both Jedi and Sith, two of which are the first Jedi and the first Sith in Episode 9 that will be explored lightly. So, I gotta say one more thing here. When we look at the character of Rey and R2-D2 discovering the Lost City, what planet are they on? That's my biggest question. Is it going to be a planet taken directly from the EU, or is it going to be a new planet entirely that we have never seen before on the big screen? Because if you guys actually have read a lot of the EU books, there's a lot of planets that could very well be great candidates of making a big return in Episode 9 to serve as the location of the lost city underneath the surface of its actual planet. So anyways guys, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.